What's the difference between frequency response and frequency range? Pablo in the UK wants to know. Huh, yesterday, I think we did a UK guy. <laughs> anyway, um, hey Paul, I'm in search of new speakers and reading specs on the pages. Huh, the specs for speakers don't tell you squat, Pablo. I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, I can see that some do frequency range while others have frequency response, and some give both values and they are different values. So my question is, What's the difference between frequency range and frequency response in a speaker? Thank you very much for your help. Pablo Rianoso, an Argentinian living in the UK in Plymouth. Well, quite simply put, frequency response is how even the frequencies are handled in terms of loudness so that if we, we look at, say, a band of frequencies, let's say from, uh, oh, 100 hertz to 20,000 hertz. How even is the loudness at each frequency? So maybe the 1,000 cycles, it's a little higher, and at 800 cycles, it's a little lower. That's frequency response. And what, if it were an amplifier, we'd, we'd be very unhappy if that wasn't a straight flat line. Right? So that every frequency had exactly the same loudness as every other frequency. That's what you want. Speakers, speakers are very crude devices. No speaker is flat. No such thing doesn't exist. And even if it did exist, it certainly wouldn't be flat in your room. So we don't have flat speakers. So what you look at is how far in, in terms of decibels that the frequencies are off. So you'll see the line going like this, where some frequencies are higher in amplitude and some are lower. Frequency range is how far out for bass and treble the speaker goes. So a small bookshelf speaker may have a limited frequency range, meaning that it goes from 20,000 hertz, let's say where the tweeter is, down to 100 hertz where the, the bass cuts off. But a big floor stander with big woofers, it might go from 20 kilohertz all the way down to 30 hertz or 40 hertz or something lower in frequency. So range is from the lowest to the highest frequency. How far does it go before it starts losing volume? Frequency response is how even those frequencies are in terms of level or volume. So, Having said all of that, now I hope that's pretty clear what all that means, uh, none of it really makes a whole lot of difference. The frequency range, yes. If you, if you buy a little pair of bookshelves and they only go down to 100 hertz, you know you're going to have to augment that with something like a subwoofer to get that full frequency range that you want. But in terms of, you know, if this speaker is flatter than that speaker, man, that makes almost no difference whatsoever because even if it did, you wouldn't know what to look for. I wouldn't know what to look for. You got to listen to it, okay? So don't use those specs other than the range to determine what speaker to go for because I've seen speakers that were, you know, like look like, uh, you know, a hill and dale and they were delicious sounding speakers. And I've seen others that were as, as about as flat as speaker gets sounding like total dog crap. I mean, ugh, y you just, can't tell from specs. Trust me on this. All right. Well, good luck in your search and um, have fun out there in Plymouth, England. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.